Okay, folks. Uh, this is our second video. We don't usually put out a couple of videos a day. Uh, I don't know if we ever have, actually. Uh, maybe a video and some shorts, but earlier we put a video out kind of reintroducing Joe and myself to folks because we've gotten a lot of new subscribers and we're so grateful. And uh, we kind of label the intent of this channel in that other video. I won't go into all of that here again. This video is about thankfulness and uh, being blessed. And folks, being blessed, uh, 99, well, if you don't have uh, food, being blessed is getting a meal if you're hungry. Uh, being blessed can mean a lot of things, but uh, the big blessings are when you're not really asking for a blessing and somebody gives you a blessing. And we've got a lot of people that are so good to us, but I want to mention three people in this video. Uh, there are so many. Uh, we'll have them. We'll have United States Day soon because we're we're thankful to a lot of folks in the United States that have been really gracious and kind to us as well. Uh, but today I want to talk about thankfulness to some folks. In England, in the United Kingdom, I guess I should say. Um, Danny Christie, who just won the light heavyweight title, uh, Bare Knuckles Championship this past weekend. Uh, sir, thank you so much. Uh, for being so positive with Joe. You know some of the things you've already done, but just thank you. You already know. Just thank you, sir. Uh, I want to thank somebody else who is going to, I believe, be online with an interview tomorrow. Uh, who, who Danny's going to be on that interview with, and that's Matt Legg. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Much love. Much love. And we want to thank... Uh, I would never give his last name. He's not incognito. Uh, he's not hidden. Uh but he doesn't put his last name out, so I don't I don't feel at liberty to put it out. But I will mention the channel, and it is uh, boxing with the monster and the hammer. Uh, Bob, we want to thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's little things that people do that. They would never realize, unless we pointed out to them, the effect that they have with us or have on us. And uh, those are the precious things. The things that generally when people are doing them, they don't realize the scope or uh, the, the grandiose effect that they're having on this person. They think they're doing something this big, and really they're doing something this big, something very huge. And we're just so thankful, so thankful. Uh, Danny was on a podcast today. Um, 
I'm going to see if I can raise it here without messing this up because I would like to give the channel that it's on. If you could just bear with me for a second. Yes, it appears to be everybody still there. I mean, keep backing this up because I'd really like to give the channel out here because I can't remember it and I had it right with me and in my head because I just watched the whole podcast and now I have it. Uh, folks, you should go listen to Danny Christie on the Fully Game channel. Uh, the YouTube channel is called Fully Game and they do a very interesting interview with Danny Christie. And I know tomorrow we're probably going to have one that's more interesting. It will be for us. Uh, because we're not only going to love the interviewed, we're going to love the interviewer. So we just get double in our house. I love this. Um, but you should go listen to Danny Christie. Uh, and listen to that podcast. Um, he is literally talking about everybody, you know, these kids today losing the peck in order, you know, and he grew up like I did. I probably grew up in a even more rough time than he did because uh, at the age he's talking about being, I would have been in my 20s or actually 30s. Uh, when he would have been that age. So it would have been 25 or 30 years earlier. I would have been his age. Uh, but it was still a tough age then. Um, things had not took the grand jump in the lake yet. Um, but he talks about, you know, you go outside, kid, you know, kids can't... Uh, even rustle and tussle with one another. You can't, uh, that, you know, generally there was when I was growing up, and he talks about this, that you go out, you get a bloody nose, a bloody lip, uh, you cross a line with somebody, you may get knocked around, pushed around, smacked, uh, punched, many times, uh, beat up, but uh, kids need to go through that. They, they don't know where the line is they can't, that they shouldn't cross. And that is what's leading to all these school shootings and craziness and uh, uh, you know, Stephen down the street wanting to be called Marsha and all this crazy. And that's what it is. It's a sick, sick society led by sick, sick people. And it's amazing to me that a, uh, somebody like Danny Christie can have a big contract track sitting there waiting on him. Uh, yeah, they've presented me with a big contract and uh, hasn't signed it yet. Uh, here's why this is surprising to me, folks. Who do you know in the sports world that has a, a contract sitting there waiting for them if they want to sign it or not? And then out here telling the truth about this sick, woke society. How? Who do you know that does that? Right? Well, we don't know. We know one guy, Danny Christie. We don't know other people. I'm sure there's some other people that step up to the plate like that. But uh, we all need to be like that. I can tell you right now, I, you know, I don't sit and have uh, tea and biscuits with uh, or, or coffee and grits as we would have where I was brought up every morning with with Mr. Christie. But let me tell you something. 
already know. That he, he's he got his belief system. He's standing up for it. And he's telling the truth about what's going on in this world. You can't shut somebody like that up. You can't go and say, well, don't be talking about that anymore. Or we're going to yank his contract from you. Or, hey, we're not going to do a contract with you because you said this or said that. I'm sure I know where he'd tell them to put the contract. But that takes huge, huge intestinal fortitude that we are lacking today. We are just literally, truly lacking today. And uh, that he would mention some of the things that I said. It just goes to enforce with me and should enforce with you. And that I'm saying things that he says that you're thinking that what he's saying is correct. I, me thinking it's correct. The guy down the street thinking that what he's saying is correct. And it's all thinking each other is correct. Just goes to show what I've been saying all along. There's more of us than there are them. You've just got a tiny minority of sick, bent, twisted people running the show for all of us. And it's going to take more champions to stand up and uh, I'm not sh we've got some incognito letters that are subscribed to, to this channel which is really to watch my son not me. Uh, and it's about him, not me. My day has come and gone. But uh, any of you that are champions, any of you that are professional athletes, and I know we've got several, uh, several that are subscribed to our channel. We don't have a huge, big following, but we've we've got some heavy hitters on here. And if you go watch the video that I mentioned, and go watch Danny Christie, and if you're here, you're listening to something that, that you like, maybe that I'm saying, and we all need to stand up and say it. I'm just an old man, right? Uh, I've had my days in the sun. Uh, I've done a lot of amazing things. And maybe I'll start putting some videos out for some of the stuff that I've done. I've done a lot of things. Things that uh, in foreign countries where people will tell you, uh, don't do that. You can't make it. It's not possible. We live here. We know it cannot be done. And I've been able to do some things, uh, big things. And uh, but I'm not a big man. Uh, no, it's nothing special about me. Uh, I just come from a different era of people, and uh, I'm headstrong and heartstrong with concerns to a lot of things that, that happen or go on. And we've all got to start standing up and being like that. We, we've all got to start, hey, i got to be like Danny Christie over here. Hey, I can't, I can't do this no more. It's time to uh, take the gag off and start shouting from the rooftops. Because that's how ugly this world has got. But uh, not to listen to the graciousness of him mentioning Joe or myself. Just listen to the thing from start to finish and especially in the middle. Because when he starts talking about what's going on with this world and who raised him and who he looked up to. And that generation, his grandfather's generation was my daddy's generation. And I was almost in tears. He, he's talking about an age that's long gone. 
And it died with that generation. My generation did not get that. And nor did it go down uh, to Danny Christie or Matt Legg's generation. It just didn't. We lost it. My generation lost it. Uh, it was really something lost after the 60s. It got lost in the 60s. And it hasn't come back, and I'm not looking for it to. Little things like he never saw his grandfather without his hair combed perfectly and dressed to a T. I never saw my dad like well, my dad, I, I did at some times, but uh, uh, my dad used to go out with a pair of dress slacks on and dress shoes and mow our yard uh, with, with a push mower. And he didn't have to do that, but he enjoyed doing yard work. And uh, he did it. And really back then, other than uh, some people going and getting a kid to come mow your yard. Good luck with that today. And there would always be a kid or two in the neighborhood that would hustle and go mow yards in the U.S. Uh, where we all have bigger yards. Uh, you won't find that today. you got to go call a company and nobody will even mow their own yard. And all these dads were out there. They'd get out there every weekend and mow the yards. Uh, you don't see that today. You don't see properness you know you don't see it uh bob told me i was picking with him he he uh, just about three weeks ago got a new car it's a special car i like that car and uh it was a special treat for him because he always wanted one like this so anyway i said bob that car is beautiful oh man and I'm messing with him, and I tell him, but the steering wheel's on the wrong side of the car, brother. That car's perfect, just the steering wheel's on the wrong side of the car. And he politely tells me, uh, it's on the proper side of the car. And that's what we need to go back to. We need to go back to proper. We need to go back to, yeah, the lines are here, don't cross them. And you young boxers, I'm telling you, conduct yourselves like a gentleman. Be strong. Uh, conduct yourself like your backbone is made out of iron. Command the area around you that you can command. Police the area around you that you can police. And seek wisdom to know the difference when you can't. And get yourself out of bad situations. But start out now. Get lines created around you. That invisible space that you're invading my space. Uh, that's an imaginary line. I want you to get a real lines. A real circle around you. Uh, not a... Not a, a puff circle, not a, a rainbow candy imaginary circle. Get a real circle around you. And uh, toughen up, because if you toughen up, and when I say that, I don't mean for you guys to go out here and get ugly, and be mean to folks, start fights and stuff like that. God knows I've done enough of that ugly. Let me tell you all, it don't work. I've started more fights then I could sit here and remember I've forgotten most of the fights I even started. Uh, and it's no good to do that. Uh, but stand firm is what I'm telling you. You go around and you command the area around you with authority and seriousness. And, uh, and you'll command it. And it won't be hard for you, not in this, this world today. Young folks, it will not be hard for you. Not in this world. 1968, you'd have a problem trying to command the area around you because there's always a challenger to that. Today, you won't have much of that. But you got to use your head because another little kid go out here and get a gun and try to hurt you just or something like that. When I, so I'm not talking about going out here and 
starting fights, but you can command the area around you. And that means staying away from the bad people around you as much as you can and not letting them in that area. Why would you go hang around a bunch of bad people uh, that may be carrying knives or guns that you would have to be worried about? Why would you do that? Yet, as humans, human nature, and as broken as we are, we go right to do things like that. My wife's daddy once said, uh, you know, if that little bird flies up in that tree over there and someone throws a rock or something at that bird in that tree, that bird will never come back to that specific tree. And that bird won't. You know, there's exceptions. If it's a mama bird and she's got babies in there, she's going to fight for those babies. But just a bird landing in a tree lives in a neighborhood and flies around and everything's happy. If a kid goes out there or somebody goes out there and starts throwing rocks at that bird in that tree, that bird will leave that tree and he won't go back to it. Now, a bird's brain is probably, I don't even know, get this up to the light to see, probably about that big, if that big, probably about half that big. And you got all this in here, so use it. Use it. Thank you to Danny Christie, Matt Leg. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, everybody that has helped us, give us encouragement, given us advice, uh, and all these things. Much love to you. And young people, stand firm. Try to do the right thing and stand firm in what you know is right. And you'll win.